Yo, 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 once again, we back. This is we just a messenger's podcast. Of course, I'm Mo. I'm Mike. You know, it's always, you know, we can't do this without my dog, Drew Money on the boards. Do work media Sundays. Uh, 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 how y'all feeling? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing pretty good myself, man. Mike, how you feeling, brother? Feeling good, man. I had a good week so far. Ready for Thanksgiving this week. Yeah, man. November over with, man. That's over with. Shit, year over with, nigga. Yeah, yeah, the year over with, but you know, November, this is, a, it's a dub, man. You love know, it, love it, love it. Because that means it's spooky season now, because it's my birthday month coming up. So, you know, it's about to get real lit around. Yeah. Ooh, yes, spooky sir. time. Yeah, yes, December is right here. Yes, sir. You got any big plans? Um, I don't know. I'm moving into a new spot in two weeks. Uh-oh. Oh, now. yeah, you say you uh you, you going to the West, right? Uh-oh. Back to the West. Yes, sir. New spot right before the B day. Yes, sir. Oh, oh yeah. I, I already know what time that is. Hey, it's about to go up, man. You no, know, first thing, first thing first is a little housewarming. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna do a little oyster roast type. Yes, thing. sir. Type little main shit like that. But yeah, man, it's just, everything's up right now, man. You know how the year started off for most of us. You know, it's mm-hmm. been a mm-hmm. a full ass fucking year. But um, yeah, man, fourth quarter is coming to the end, and uh, mm-hmm. it's a good opportunity to get on the court tonight. You know, so you never know. <laughs> you never know, man. But week was good, man. Happy to be here. Feeling real good. And I'm excited, man. I'm excited for the topics of uh, today. All right, man. Hey, man, I'm happy for you, though, bro. B-Day week, new yeah, spot man. coming. Congratulations, man. Hey, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate it. It's I, know, I know the, the numbers going on that board, though. Oh, no, definitely. <laughs> for singing it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Y'all already know. So we we about to get into first, Mike. What's good with you, man? Uh, fortunately, we got to start off with some sad news. Um, maybe you can speak more to this than me, being that I wasn't really a a fan of this artist. But fortunately, we lost another rapper, Young Dolph. Yeah, man. We Thirty six years old. We lost a Southern legend, and Young Dolph, on what was that Friday? No, oh, Thursday. That was Thursday. Yeah. Real unfortunate situation, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, fucked up in anything, man. More than a rapper, you know. Loss of father. Yeah, loss of father. Loss of son. Brother. Nephew, brother. Son. Cousin. Like, all those things. A great man in his community. A great man who did a lot of providing for people, took care of a lot of people. Gave back millions. Gave back millions. Changed a lot of young dudes' lives. Signing them to the label. Mm-hmm. Showing people a lot of different things, a lot of different lifestyle changes and stuff. Yeah, I saw that one clip that you posted where he gave the college students uh, 20K yeah, when yeah. they got fired for playing the music in the coffee shop. Yeah, like, this was like 2018. Yeah. And, um, Salute. That, like, dude, that, that, that was, was major, at Duke, man. matter of fact. Yeah, and Duke University. A, and it was at a little coffee shop and it was... I guess it was uh, about to open up. You know, you know, you know, how certain stores, you know, depending on who you're working with, y'all play out music before the store open up officially. So uh, I guess a complaint was 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 uh, they somebody made a complaint because of the I guess the the type of music uh, they was playing get paid. So the so the VP of the school fired dog. They fired the it was a it was a black girl and it was a, it was a dude that got fired. And uh, dog flew them out to Rolling Loud. This is the first Rolling Loud matter of fact. He flew them out there, brought them on stage, gave them both twenty k till they found them a job. You know, that's just a small testament to the type of dude, the dude he was, what he used to do for people. So, you know, it's definitely a big loss. I was a, a big fan of Dolph. Uh, I think me and Reggie started listening to Dolph like 2012. He been dropping stuff before that, but I think that's when we really caught on to Dolph. But, yeah, man, this is a real unfortunate situation. You know, Prius is his wife, his kids, the whole family. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, that's what I'm thinking about the most. You know, Thanksgiving right here, then after that you got Christmas right there. Like, you know, how do you explain to these to these babies that their father not gonna be there for them? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, real fortunate, unfortunate situation, man. Rest in peace to Young Dolph. So yeah, right before the holidays, that's fucked up. Very fucked up. And he was right at a spot where he was just like promoting. Shit, probably like a month ago on his Instagram. Like he just he had dropped the album earlier this year, on uh, Paper Route Illuminati, and then he was about to start gearing up because Key Glock just dropped, and then he was about to start pushing some more artists that he had just signed to Paper Route. So he really was just about to get ready for 2022, honestly. And now we here. What's your so, favorite project from him? Uh, 
Man, it's a few, bro. I'm not even going to lie. I like uh, my favorite, 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 because this was like right before Milo was born, my daughter was born. I liked South Memphis Kingpin. That was my favorite shit. That was my favorite song. That had a bunch of his, um, a few, a few of his like big club records was on that was on that mixtape. I liked that mixtape a lot. Then after that, um, of course, Bulletproof. Um, shit, his his album he dropped last year during the pandemic. That was a dope ass album. Uh, the Rich Slaves album. That was a real dope album. Um, yeah, man. Rest in peace, Young Dolph, man, for real. Mm. I just keep thinking about his kids, man. Yeah, like that that's shit. the shit that really bothered me. Cause they they young too, like seven and three, if I'm not mistaken, or three or four or something like that, man. So, real unfortunate situation, man. I think. What do you think? Like Key Glock goes from here as far as like an artist. I don't know. I mean. I don't know, man. I mean, he was already kind of looked at as like a Dolph Jr. So mm-hmm. it's like, do he? I don't know. I don't know, man. Whatever he do, he just he should just take his time right now. If anything, I'm pretty sure he he's somewhere taking his time or just trying to relax as much as he can right now. But and it was it was actually family. Like that was his little cousin. So yeah, they say he basically shut down everything on the Yeah, he yeah. shut down everything. Honestly, I mean. Same thing like how Dirk did when you know his brother died. Like, yeah, man, it's just it's just to see the like all the love that he got from you know all the rappers that he impacted. Like most of the most of the posts I seen was like him braiding his daughter's hair, like just being around his kids, like uh, him talking to younger kids. Like he was just always about being better and you know further in the youth. He always was talking to the young dudes. Yeah, bro. he always was. That's one thing I can always say he was on, like always reaching back and trying to impact the youth. But he always been on that. Like I can't say it was like some, some you know for the image type shit. No, he been on that type shit. So you know, and it show like when people remember you, they remember you for you know the positive that you put on in their life. So you know, it was good to see that he, you know, he definitely remembered for that shit, but. Man, it's it's that shit sucks, bro. Yeah, I heard the authorities found a co- uh, found a car that was used. They got they, they got the suspects too. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I heard some crazy story about like how um, they did it to try to get signed or something like that, or some crazy some whatever their motive was. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know, man. But it's just senseless. It's real senseless. Doesn't make any sense, like, and it's unfortunate because you know you took away like a staple in that city. Like yeah. like I said, he was more than just a rapper. He was somebody that he gave he, back. He like gave he did, back he to the did community. shit for the city. Yeah, like, he did shit for the city. Like, he wasn't somebody who was just milking the system and just you know <laughs> continuing to feed to the negative. Like he was actually doing shit. Yeah, like, active. Like he had a he and had, his wife had an organization. Yeah, like he he for was like about black, to, for black men to stay alive or something like yeah, that. Yeah, black men deserve to grow old. Yeah, the black men deserve to grow old. Like he had a he just had he was going to have his. Annual turkey drive the day before he died, the day after he died, as opposed to my fault. But yeah, like, and I think I think I think that was like the tenth annual or something. Like he's like he's been consistent with this shit. So mm-hmm. I don't know, man. It's it's very unfortunate, man. Rest in peace, and Young Dolph. Yeah, man. I just know a lot of records is gonna go up in the club for him. Like this upcoming, like towards the end of the year, this upcoming weekend. Oh yeah, New Year's is going up. Yeah. Whatever New Year's party you at. And this one that that just passed. I know it was uh, somebody had tweeted like, "Oh, they ain't not playing enough doll for me in this club tonight." So, rest assured, it's going to be a lot of that going on. Yeah, for sure. It better be shit. It really. It, it better be. It better be. Damn man, that shit sucks. Yeah, and then shit, him and Glock just dropped that tape when last year. Yeah, the Dumb and Dumber Part Two. That was last year. No, yeah, that was last year, yeah, toward the end of last year. That was hard, too. Yeah, man. Prayers to everybody who, who was really, like, personal with Dog and his whole family and shit, man. Real For unfortunate. Sure. For sure, man. Uh, I wanted to talk about this. I know it's, like, something constant that's kind of like be resurfacing, but maybe you could speak more to this, had this conversation because you are a father, so you can pretty much... Um, 
give a better insight on this, like with the baby and his uh and Danny Lee situation, mm -hmm. in terms of like how that was handled, and you know everybody saw him go uh, live, you know telling her to like get out, and you know basically he did. The thing was he went live to cover himself in terms of what right. was going on. Um, you know she got charged with like uh, what was it like assault or something like that. I I'm, I don't even know. Whatever you tell me, like the whatever. Charges I think she got do. she got charged with something. She 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 had to leave. She got charged for like uh, harassment or assault. One of the two, basically like putting hands on the man. Right. And you know she was asked to leave, and you know just kicked up the whole firestorm conversation about in terms of who should be like responsible for. You know, her dealings a lot. You got people saying, oh, it's like uh, karma because of her Yellow Bone song. And, you know, you chose to have a baby with him, vice versa with him. You made a baby. Oh, you wasn't a side. It's a side. But in my whole situation, the whole shit dumb, not my situation, in my opinion, the whole shit dumb is because only one person is affected by this, and that's the child. That's the child, yeah. And it's mm -hmm. like, I don't think these entertainers, celebrities, influencers, whoever has a platform understand that. Yes, your, your kids gonna see this shit one day. Yeah, you this shit's saying? gonna be in an internet archive. Like it'll always be there. You and, know what I'm saying? And my thing is, at the end of the day, is it really worth it? Now, if you wanted to go live to cover yourself, you didn't have to go live. You could have just recorded it and kept it for court purposes, whatever right. the case may be. Right. No, I. That's you know what I'm saying. No, I agree. So, but to go live, I just feel like you antagonizing them. Yeah, it's you, messy. You pushing buttons, it's messy and. You're not a regular guy. A regular person, that shit is dumb. We see it all the time on, on TL. Like, mm -hmm. why you bring that type of energy? It does look like you're and doing it for timing, something. Like... Because you off the heels of this, the LGBTQ shit. And you just dropped a project, like, right on the heels of all of this. So it's just... Your, your timing with certain shit is yeah. badly placed. It's bad, yeah. I can even see his assistant in the background, like, telling him... Yo, put that up. In, in like... that situation, she got to snatch that phone. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, you got it, you got it, because at the end of the day, it's not only you that's affected. We all work for you. You see what I'm saying? Like, we just came from under this other shit. We just shit. come from this other shit, and now you got this shit. Like, we all get paid from you. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's not worth it for you to, if you want to record some shit, cool. But to go live and have all this attention, because it's taken away from the music. And I feel like the baby is starting to get under that class where we're only starting to talk about him. For this shit outside the music. On the little Nas X type shit. So when you become that artist where, okay, we only want to hear about you when you got some controversial shit going on, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying it's going to affect his bottom line as far as his money, but just the perception like, okay, you know, waiting for some shit to happen with this nigga. Who's it going to be this time? Nah, you're right. It's just always something. So like, maybe you can speak to like how... Both of them. Even if you feel like more so, he's held more accountable situation. In no, terms as, of as the man, he's more. He should be more accountable because at the end of the day, bro, like, bro, like you had this baby with this girl, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter how y'all feel about each other now, somebody got to be the bigger, the 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 bigger mind here. You know what I'm saying? Like, whether you want her in there or not, bro. Before it get to all the police and shit, bro. Me personally, I leave my shit, bro. I'm the baby. I'm a millionaire. Like, I got others. I got others second go to, bro. Like, I'm not about to do this whole like. We'll handle this shit when you know tempers down or whatever, bro. But I'm not about to like put in your put in your how old is child is like what three, four, four three months. like in the middle of the night. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't. And care. I think the baby ended up staying. Well, the actual baby ended up staying, but I'm not sure. I think because he had a video that he even posted with afterwards. That, even with that, bro, I'm not kicking the mom out, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'll leave. I'll leave before it even gets all that. And you, like you said, like he going live. Like it's not everybody' business. It's not everybody' business, bro. <laughs> I feel like she's not. She doesn't deserve any blame in this. No, she don't. And I see. And this is my thing. Like, I see a lot of people trying to do the whole, well, you laid down with him, which is true, which is true. But at the end of the day, bro, dog got to be a man, bro. Like, all this, like, going live and putting everybody in your business and shit, bro. Like, end of the day, bro, like, that's not our business, bro. It's like, shit like shit. that, dude, that's clown shit, bro. Like, like, now, if you were saying, like, how you said, if I'm just recording it to, to cover my ass, 
if if some shit go left in court, that's different. But you went live on social on your social media. Like you gotta go through a whole nother type of emotion that go to your Instagram rather than just going to your You're camera. Trying to You're trying to antagonize her, bro. Like it's it's different, bro. Like like that shit just I don't know, and man. My when thing I, is, when my I thing watched is, it, yeah, go ahead. The accountability aspect on him has to be higher because at the end of the day, like you said, it's a three, four month old baby. This baby's fresh. Baby fresh. There's bro. no I I'm not saying that she's dealing with postpartum. I don't know. That could be a possibility. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like you said, he's a millionaire. First of all, if she's such this side chick, whatever the case may be, for one, you should have already had a place for her. Paid for, car. Whatever the case may you be, you got her in your because house like like y'all a couple, bro. Like that that yeah. money, that money is not gonna matter to your peace of mind. It's not gonna matter. You're gonna pay whatever the cost is to go ahead and make sure that she's situated, your child is situated, she got her own spot. Well, y'all don't even have to deal with that for that time being. Exactly. That got to be the first priority. When she had the baby, okay, hey, listen, this here ain't working out. I got you a spot over here. It's paid for. You ain't got to worry about paying for whatever X amount, whatever the case may be. But you wait if till you, you wait till y'all get on live to be like you're not my girl. Like, exactly. That's, like that's, that's clown that's, shit. That's, bro. that's dumb that's, shit. That's, that's clown and shit. And I feel like a lot of them say they will save themselves the headache if they go ahead and you already have a place ready for the mother of your child and a place for them, a car, whatever the case may be. Because on her end, she's saying that you know. She, she didn't have no place to go yeah. because she moved out there to be with him, whatever the case, whatever the case may be. I don't think she's lying, bro. No, she I got no reason to lie about that. I don't that. think she's lying, But my bro. whole thing is, niggas know when they done with a woman. Right. So my whole thing is, you're not going to have her in the house if she's that bad for your mental or for your well-being, your, whatever the case may be. He so my thing is, you should have already had a spot for her. In place, condo, house, whatever the case may be. We don't even have to have them run as hey, let's get a schedule set in place to where I see my child. It's, you need anything like cool. whatever it is that you need to make sure that you straight and we don't butt heads. Let me know so I can go ahead and handle it. And she, it's not to say that she ain't got her money. You know, she's her own artist and her own right. I know she probably getting to the paper, but as the man in that situation, right. we're going to go ahead and get this out the way. Not Point she, blank, period. She's not even from Charlotte. She came to Charlotte solely to be with you, bro. And then you up and doing this whole, like, you know, you need to go. Okay. But if, if that's the case, you wouldn't have never had her in your spot like that. You know what I'm saying? If she'd been such a side piece. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just don't, that's just not, it's not making sense to me, man. Like, and you putting out your child in the middle of the night. Like, that just don't sit. I don't. That's not real nigga shit, man. Like, I'm sorry, bro. Like, that's just not, man. It's too much. It's, it's just too much surrounding that shit. And I don't think a lot of them understand, like, the severity of it. Like, years down the line. Like, you say your child seen this one day. How do you explain that? Damn, because there's no explanation for that, in my opinion. There's no explanation for like, that. What do you do when you're trying to be like, damn, like, why you put my mom out like on live on Instagram and shit, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you will have to have that combo one day. Yeah. We say this all the time about how these OnlyFans girls will have to be accountable for they toward their kids one day. So, like, it could be possible that this man, I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, they'd be like, hey, dad, like, bro, like, like, why you handle my mom like that, bro? Like, I don't like that shit, bro. Like how do you what do you will you just cross that bridge when you get to it? I think a lot of them be thinking that, or they won't be thinking about it in that time. I don't think they think about it. And it, the sad thing about it is kids are fucking horrible people. Like like they're kids are very mean to other kids. Though. <laughs> yeah. Like mm -hmm. to the say like, oh yo, forever. like pulling out your phone, I can see this shit. Boy, look at your mama um with the with the boot. Or boy, look at your mama busting it wide open. Like Yeah. Like kids don't under like Then I'm seeing my bad Drew, but I'm seeing like people Putting up side to side pictures of the Danny girl, talking about this is why he kicked her out. She don't look like this. And I'm like, brother, do y'all do y'all deal with women for real? Like, do y'all really deal with women in real life, bro? Like, no, they don't. Like, how y'all even going? You know, like, I didn't see a problem with her with or without makeup. Like, no, I, but that, I, that 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 was just some some shit that just. Pile on top of the bullshit that ain't really. It's irrelevant. So now you got people now now on top of you kicking your girl out. Now you got people just attacking her unprovoked, yeah, for no reason. This Due is to the, how she wake up in the morning. This is like, the mother of your child up, at the yeah. end of the day. Now, like no matter how you feel about her, now like this is the mother of your child. Like yeah. so now so so what, what we do now? She like, has to be your child and 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 uh, the well being of your mother should be 
the mother of your child should be first priority, regardless of how you feel. <laughs> that just is what it is, bro. You 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 know you made your bed, you gotta lay in it now. So at the end of the day, there should have been no situation where she's not even over there for that to even go down. She should have had her own spot. And when I mean her own spot, you should have paid for it. You should make sure she had, I'm going to say it again, you should have made sure she had a house, a condo, whatever the case may be, car paid for. It is what you spent. You're a millionaire rapper. It's not like you can't afford it because it's going to save you the headache down the line and y'all don't even got to butt heads. So he's 100% culpable in this shit. I, like, there's, all she did was have the child. She's in your spot for a reason. Because you had her over there, nigga. You had her over there. <laughs> like, let's not play it dumb once we want to get on like you poking, like, like, you poking at her. Yeah, so you're like, looking for a type of reaction. It's corny nigga shit, bro. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't like that shit, bro. Like, it was corny nigga shit. And then it's like, you you did this shit, and then you dropped some statement trying to, like, further shit on her, and then you talking about go stream my album. It's corny nigga shit, bro. Nah, I can't stream my album off the heels of that. And you dropping a video. You don't buy your baby mama a car for her to move around. She not move to the city with you, but you're dancing in front of a fleet of cars. It's corny nigga shit to me, bro. Mm-hmm. Like it's just corny nigga shit, bro. Cause that should be that should be handled off rip. And I think with the baby, he it's just gonna get. It's gonna come a time where he's. It's gonna hit him where it hurts. It is always gonna be the money. When are you going to learn? I don't think he's going to learn because we just came from some shit where a lot of people don't come from. A lot of people don't come back from the LGBTQ shit, bro. A lot of people don't come back from that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Yeah, even with that, it's like they still got him on puppet string with that yeah. whole situation because it's like, okay, you cool to go ahead and get... They basically tell this man, okay, you cool to go ahead and get money But make, make the statement first before you do that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't you even you know still got to check in with us, nigga. I didn't even know they had a CEO. I didn't know that neither. That's what I found wild. Like, <laughs> like they really move like the mob. Bro. They have a chief executive officer. Like, how can you have a chief executive officer of a sexual uh, orientation? Uh, yeah, a sexual orientation. They get they get shit done though. Obviously. Hey. Based off history. Hey. They get laws put in place. They tell niggas when they can get money. You're not going to dis- any hint of disrespect. Hey, you out of here. Be <laughs> right there yeah. like that. They got the gun ready, and they will peel your cap back. <laughs> Muffin back blue. <laughs> yeah. They this coming. Shit is crazy. The yeah. baby just got to get his shit together, man, because for him to be as successful as it is, this shouldn't always be like breathing down his neck. It's always something like it's like breathing down his neck. And it just and becomes a cloud. Yeah, it becomes yeah. a cloud over him. Mm-hmm. And you bigger than that. You should be in a place now where you you regard it as a big, just a big overall entertainer because that's what you are. Yeah. You got a for wide family. For what it's worth, we shouldn't be talk. This shouldn't be, this like shit like this shouldn't be a constant in his career. Like not at this point. No, not at all. Not at all. And it seemed like it's starting to happen when he's hitting, when he's crossing over into a certain lane. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like we wasn't really hearing about this when he was first coming up. Shit like that. The only thing we really had was a Walmart shoe, but that was self defense. But it just seemed like more of this shit starts to come when he's crossing over into that next tier. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I just don't understand it. Like, you got to get your shit together, man. And th- another thing that gets me upset, too, is like these niggas get mad when people speak on this shit. But nigga, you put this shit public. You went live, bro. You went live. And they act like, oh, don't have. A lot of this shit. A lot of people wouldn't talk about a lot of shit if y'all didn't put it out there. I that will always be my. I sense. can't. I can't speak on what I don't see, bro. That's why I say that shit was none of our business, bro. None of it. <laughs> that was none of our business. Like bro. even like, I even take it to the Jay Z Beyonce route. You know how many things they probably done had going down in the relationship that we don't know about. And we will never know we'll about. Never know about. We might. We can speculate based off the music that we hear, but we'll unless one of them be like, "Hey, this is what happened." Like I'm telling. There can all, never be a time where I can say that either one of them. Embarrassed. Their if there partner. wasn't, if there wasn't a camera on that elevator, we would have never knew that that night happened, bro. And that wasn't even on them two. That was just more so the sister. You get what yeah. I'm saying? So it's just like there was never a situation where B or J disrespecting each other it publicly, like publicly. That, yeah. You see what I'm saying? They might disrespect each other in private. Say we would never know because that's not our business. That's not our <laughs> business. And I think a lot of them be forgetting that. Like they get so caught up in the moment or whatever the case is, or they don't give a fuck. Like you said. Child got to see that shit one day. Yeah. Like, imagine having to explain to Milo one day 
10 years down the line. I went on live dissing her mom. Like, that, that sounds crazy. That should sound crazy, bro. And I know my child. My child will get right to it. Like, yeah, like, what's up with that? <laughs> like, why y'all ask me that shit right now? Like, why, why are you doing that? Like, and you got, you're going to feel stupid as hell. You're going to feel dumb as fuck, bro. There's no explanation. Like, there's there. no explanation, bro. Like, there's none. like what are you going to do? You, you're not going to go big on your child. Like, you're not going to be like, well. You got a point. You got, you're not, yeah. You got a, you got an answer for that. <laughs> shit, wow, man. This shit, wow. Like, I, I just don't get it, man. It's just too much fuck shit going on. Speaking of fuck shit, uh, Zach Stacy. Um, you know, we saw him in the uh, news earlier this week too for literally manhandling the mother of his child into a TV. No words for that shit, man. No All words for that shit. You got to go under the jail. Yeah, no words for that shit. We ain't really got a deep dive. Yeah, on we ain't even got a deep dive on that. That was some. That was some horrific shit, bro. Like that shit ain't right, man. That shit wasn't and right. I'm tired of niggas using CTE as a crutch too. I'm about tired of that. Like I'm not giving niggas no more passes for the CTE shit. Bro, you know when you like, beating up a woman, bro. Like yo, anybody, regardless. You see what I'm saying? Like some people could just be cold blooded killers, or they could just beat women. It ain't got nothing to do with CTE, and it it's not even. It could be five. It don't even got to be five minutes to when stories like that come out, and that's the first thing that comes up. And I feel like it's lazy now. And it's been lazy. It's always been lazy in my opinion. But like even when I even take it back then, like when, when Ray Lewis was on trial for allegedly killing somebody, right? Mm-hmm. That was in the conversation then. Or well, maybe he got CTE. It wasn't a, it wasn't a speaking point back then like that. Even when we had the running back from um Nebraska, Lawrence Phillips, I think his name. He passed mm-hmm. away a few years ago. Notorious for putting his hands on women. Notorious. Never was a conversation, but I feel like now that we're getting more information on CTE, did Junior did the Junior Seau situation that happened after Ray Lewis? Junior Seau, what did he do? Then he commit suicide. Yeah. And he was trying to say it was due to due to um, CTE. Yeah, yeah, but that's different though. No, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, like, I'm yeah, just saying. yeah, that. Yeah, I'm talking about actually putting your hands. Yeah, on yeah, putting your hands sex. on people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Even with the Richard Sherman shit, right? Same thing. It's always a. It's always like a use as a crutch. As to why they're doing the things that no, some some of these niggas been like that. With that Richard Sherman shit, bro, like we don't know what happened before he even got to that point. So Yeah. Like, like from, the nigga could have just been pissed off. Could have been pissed off. Crazy. Like somebody's probably said something yeah. about him. He probably, yo, like, uh uh-uh, uh, bro. Like somebody gotta come outside and talk to me, bro. Yeah. It, it, it's it's disrespectful. I just feel like it's disrespectful to use C T as a crutch when domestic violence situations come up. Especially when the nigga was in the league from 2013 to 2015, 1,300 rushing yards. Oh, so he been, he's been removed now. Been out the he, shit. He, caught, he had an ankle injury, and he just couldn't play three, no more. Like, three, he averaged 3.8 yards, nine rushing touchdowns. I remember touchdown, that nigga. 53 yards. From the Rams. 356, uh, 358 receiving yard dog. He ain't been in the league long enough to even catch get that shit. Like, nigga, you ain't... I need to laugh for that. Like, nigga, you ain't even get... Like, you ain't even... You ain't even getting hit. He was a glorified practice squad nigga. Exactly. Honestly, With like, those stats averaging 3.8, bro, please, bro. You can't even use that shit. What you did is 100% wrong. You don't put your hand on no woman, bro. Especially grab her up and slap her up like that. And you doing this shit in front of your, your toddler, yeah, bro. Man. Like, bro, like, get this nigga to fuck on somewhere, bro. Nah, you know, there's nothing wanted, like, in this case. Like, even if she called him a nigger, it's still not enough of a reason to... To wild out like that on from this what I've been seeing, because her her friend was the one who initially leaked the uh, the recordings, and she was like, "She this been going on." Oh, she, that's not the first time that's happened. And she's been trying to like she's she's been trying to get the police to do something, and they was like, "They can't do nothing unless you know they actually like see him doing it." So the friend was the one because they she went into hiding after that last situation, and she told the friend to go ahead and drop it on Twitter, and that's how they got viral, and that's when they went and went and found him. Nigga went to Vanderbilt. Like, come it's this nigga went on the run. Like, come on, bro. Like, like is that CTE then? Nigga, you know what you was doing. You know bro. exactly what you're doing. Like I said, based off what I saw, that ain't the first time that's happened. Shout out to them house cameras, though. You know what I'm saying? Like to catch this nigga in, in, in front of their child. Like, come on, bro. That should disgust him. That bro. is, bro. But it's disgusting. it's the fact of this. It's a we're able to see this shit now before it's a case where. Oh, she cried wolf. She cried wolf. She cried wolf, and then she ends up dead. dead. You see what I'm saying? Like that's the beautiful thing about this shit. 
because she's still she's a, they're able to do something about this shit now. He's he's arrested. Yes, they gave him bond, but he still has to go through trial. You know what I mean? Like if I'm the judge, I'm not giving nigga no fucking bond. Nah, bro. I wouldn't give him. Nah, bond I wouldn't give him no bond. bond. After what I saw, that was a monster on that fucking tape. Like bro. you got to serve whatever you you in jail to you in jail to this fucking case start, bro. For real though, to this trial start, bro. For real. And then even then, it's like. I'm not. I'm not even being lenient on nothing. Like the video says enough. Yeah, bro. Like that shit. Yeah. Boom. It shouldn't be no trial, in my opinion. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like at the end of the, hit the gavel on this yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, expedite, let's move on. expedite all. Yeah, that just shit, expedite bro. all like, that shit because there's bro, no explanation like, for it. Yeah. It's absolutely don't, nothing. Don't like even to see waste that woman it. go through that TV, bro. Like that shit ain't been right, man. That shit was that shit was foul as hell. And I see to, um your cousin posted the shit first. And I was up for whatever reason I was up that night when she she shared the shit on Twitter and I was like, bruh, like that woke me up because I was fucking hot, bruh. I was like, bruh, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga, bruh? Like she's literally sitting on the couch with her child, bruh, and you attack her. But I mean, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend since college and shit. So I'm sure this ain't the first time. I'm sure of it. But yeah, that nigga gotta go into the jail. Gots to. The only fans of what's about that? Yeah. He gotta go. None. Zero. With a sorry ass career as an NFL player. Yeah, I'm talking about some season. Dog, this nigga Fuck out of here. Yeah, man. You was not no factor like that for niggas. Him and Trent Richardson running the same, averaging the same yards. Like, come on, bro. 3.8. Stop it. Hey, that'd be my thing. They be talking like these niggas was in the league a long time. Like, no, so that shouldn't even be no diagnosis. Like, nigga didn't even see a million. I think they said like the most he made one season was like one point five, but it's like after everybody get paid, yeah, like <laughs> niggas not that, seeing you. That you shit. got the participation contract exactly, like, dog. Get this nigga out of here, man. So like Mike said, man, throw this nigga under the jail, man. Like we don't even need a trial. Let's go ahead and get to this nigga sentencing, bro. Get him out of here, man. Pack it up. Pack that nigga up, man. Yeah, man. We had uh, the season finale of um, BMF. You was able to catch that? <laughs> I got to watch it tonight. I've been slipping on all my shows, man. I'm sorry. The last couple of weeks been kind of hectic. Yeah, that, shit, that shit been nice, though. It was I'm good? I'm surprised it was only eight. It usually be 10 to 12. Yeah, it'd it be like 10 to 12. Eight. But, you know, for the first season, for some shows, they'd get yeah, them like yeah. a little, little Which I, I didn't think it was a finale, but then season two of Power Book premiered last mm-hmm. night, too. So Did you watch that? I'm not watching that. Brother, you got to fuck with Tariq, bro. That shit is whack. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> so I've hard, been off bro. the Tariq to storyline. I told y'all like, that. I, I only was... watched it. I watched the first season just off GP. Yeah. Like, the shit wasn't nothing. It's, like, y'all really gassed that fucking season, So we bro. gassing it. You definitely gassing it. Y'all niggas were saying, this shit going to be the greatest show ever. That's what y'all was saying. Like, no. <laughs> like, Lori was saying that on the, t- on the TL. Like, no, bro. This shit was mad predictable. The shit that y'all really gassed up was the interaction between um, Tariq and... Um, Mary J? No, the, the, uh, the lawyer guy. Sax. Oh, Sax? Like, that whole... Like, that, that wasn't nothing... Like, bro, he already know he was caught up in all that shit. Of course, Tariq would expose him on the, on the, on the, uh, on the stand. Like, bro, you caught up in a lot of shit with me, too. Like... Let's get to the bottom of it. But the Tariq character in itself, I'm not buying. I I've been you. stopped buying that I, shit. I feel you, Mike. I feel you. Because I was I, like that too, man. I watched the shit this morning, the new episode. You I've, been watched off it, his, I've been off his character since about season four, bro. All right. I ain't going to lie, bro. I want to fight this new little nigga. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro. Like, that shit is so cap. Like, that like, shit is I not even believable. I want to fight this little ah! nigga because just his facial reactions, just every fucking thing about this And realistically, kid. he should have been dead. Oh, my mama. Like, and it's like, he does this, like, little nervous, like, oh, I'm a schoolboy kid, like, shooken up type shit. And it's like, bro, like, <laughs> cut the shit, bro. You're a little, you're a little piece of shit, though. Like, <laughs> little piece of shit. Like, come on, bro. Like, I ain't trying to drag, bro, like that, but I hate his character. And that tall nigga that played basketball, I hate him <laughs> even more. That nigga's <laughs> stupid as hell. I hate him even more. He's just dumb as fuck. <laughs> it's, uh, anyways. But I did catch a new episode of Power uh, Season 2. Uh, well, ghost story, whatever the fuck the shit called. Um, yeah. Did you see BMF this year? I, I was waiting for that shit to finish so I can just binge watch the whole thing. It's all the now. You can go ahead and binge it. Yeah, I'm about to binge watch it starting tonight. Right. Yeah. Shout out to 50, man. He really 50 doing him. his thing. He got his hand on they, they all call, they call, shit. They call it the 50 verse. Big ups to this nigga, bro. The 50 verse. Yeah, because Tommy shit about to come out soon. Mm-hmm. You know what I was thinking? As a matter of fact, it was earlier today because I heard 50 Cent in um, the game. And I was like, dog, 
if Fifty really stayed cool with a lot of niggas, where like he's doing his fucking thing mm-hmm. now, but can you imagine if him and Floyd Mayweather never got into yeah. their shit? Him and the game never got into their mm-hmm. shit. Well, that's like, that was mostly the game for. Even the game was like, man, I, even man, if we if I never like started beefing with Fifty, we could have been bigger than the Beatles. Like, but that's the thing. But when you when you fuck with Fifty, you know that's a fire that you know mm-hmm. will never go out. Like that nigga will have something to say about you thirty years from now. You know what I mean? But I don't think they speak with each other like that no more. Nah, not, not like, like that. Back then, like in the head of that shit though. Like, yeah. Like Ja Rule. Like yeah. uh, this nigga bought like the first like fifteen, ten rows of this nigga concert to have nobody in them shit. Like. That's one nigga that's funny as fuck. He, he rules. He rules with an iron fist. One hundred percent. But big ups to him, man. I mean, he's he's rolling these shit back to back to back. And man. niggas forget that he still got the four life show on ABC too. Yeah. So. Yeah, he really is rolling these he, shits back to back to back. It's just that with right. stars, he just got the green when light the show with stars. And boom, right yeah. there. Another and they premiering one. the same night as the finale of the other one, so it's like he's he not he, playing, he's bro. Not playing with he them need niggas. to keep that momentum going. Though. Yeah. He not the only thing I'm gonna say is, don't drag out shows that don't need to be dragged out. We don't need four seasons of a raising Canaan. Oh no, that's a that's a two or three seasons. Max. That's about a two yeah. or three seasons max because yeah. you can't drag that. Three shit by up season three, they need to wrap that shit up. Yeah, wrap that shit up, bro. Yeah, that's another one I got to binge. Great, oh, yeah. great, great job with BMF though, especially Meat Son for like embodying his dad role. Like, yeah, man, them boys did a great job with that shit. Great job with that shit. I didn't even know. Uh, I thought he was gonna get out sooner because I know uh, Big T already been home since last year due to COVID. Yeah, he got he he's got on out. house he's on house restriction. Mm-hmm. He but in a um I think I had read somewhere he was like his dad should be home like in the next year or so. Like he said that in the next year because his release is like twenty thirty. Yeah, he but I mean I guess he, he might know something we don't. Honestly, mm-hmm. like he might know something we don't. Like these niggas was really moving like. I can understand they fall out though, because I remember hearing about they fall out back then. Mm-hmm. Like you know, T biggest thing with me was he was just too flashy. Yeah, brought too much attention to them. Like this is a nigga who brought Tiger to a party, bro. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like had like they was across the whole nation: Detroit, yeah. L.A., Houston, Miami, Atlanta. Yeah. Like you know, they just was standing talk, everywhere. I talked to a few dudes who grew up like around that area. Like we were on the same age, but like they grew up in Atlanta. Actually, like when them boys was moving around, and he told me like straight up, bro, like like you have to really be there to really see this shit. Like you like on an average, you go to Linux Mall and you just see like three Phantoms, four like big Mercedes, like all kind of shit just pull up at once, and them niggas just talk about like that's like a normal day. You know what I'm saying? Like in the club, like like them boys just throw two hundred grand in the strip club, like nothing. Yeah. You ever seen two hundred thousand dollars on ones, bro? Mm. Two hundred thousand ones, like just on the floor. And they doing this shit weekly. They do that shit weekly. <laughs> like that shit, nothing, bro. Yeah, and then even just in the entertainment aspect, getting into yeah. the rap game, like like they was real cool with Diddy, bro. They was real cool with like big niggas, bro. Like that's dope mm-hmm. as shit. That's dope as shit. Yeah, man. That's just next season definitely gonna be interesting, bro. Because you know, well, you're gonna see what happened. Yeah, on, I gotta on the tap finale. in that shit. You I'm gonna tap, tap in that, that shit, shit today, man. Them but, boys, daddy, be tripped me out on that first season, bro. But man, also man, that new shit true. with um, Tyreek, um, Red Man's in this shit. So it's good to see Method Man and Red Man in that shit. Red, Red, Red Man been trying to get in the. Um, so he was know. in the first episode last night. Mm-hmm. Red Man been he's trying gonna, to get he, into. Uh, he's probably gonna. I can see his character going a good five episodes, and then maybe, yeah, uh, maybe the whole season he might be in. I hope you know what I mean. I can I can see how how it can play out already, but. Because Method Man was already a lawyer in that mm-hmm. show. So now Red Man on there too? Red Man's his brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> I said, okay, 50. You see what you're doing. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I see what you're doing here. Maybe that's, okay. that's how that's how them boy lies panel at the how high. He, he's going, <laughs> I see what's happening here. I see what's happening. I see the play. I see the play. <laughs> yeah. I ain't mad at it, man. Big goes to 50, man. Keep doing your shit, man. I mean, so he got the green light at Star's office, man. Like... He the biggest thing over there. I mean, I don't see nobody else rolling out shit back to back to back. 
Not even 24 hours after a season finale, you already you need to just go season? to HBO so they don't keep having all this back and forth for release. And, yeah, it'd be, too much, it'd be too much indiscrepancy. Just go ahead and hop your ass over to HBO 50, man, so we don't have to keep dealing with that shit. And then stars even be on some whole shit, too, when they release this, like... Mm-hmm. 12 o'clock comes, sometimes that shit don't be on the mm-hmm. fucking app. Some of it yeah. do be on there, and it's like, all right, man, like, fucking time y'all on. Man. I ain't gonna lie, since I got this uh this fire stick, that little jailbroken man, I'm gonna be having no problems with that shit, though. Mm. Like, all, like, all that shit be on there, like. Now, that, I didn't get to see the episode. The episode everybody talked about, that was like, talking, like, when it was. That shit was on my fire stick. Like, I, I was, see, you know, I had to, somebody hit me with a sight. Oh, I was able right. to see it. Yeah. I had, oh, my shit been on there, start, like. Because that 50 man whole post about it, yeah, they was going to mm-hmm. release it, then they put it back there. My dog hit me with, hey, man, hit the episode. <laughs> so I was able to see that. Because niggas, because the, stars, they had it up there for like three hours and they took it down. But a lot of people saw it, a lot of people didn't see it. A lot of people be trying to wait till Sunday to watch it, but fuck that. If I'm out and I have my special with my uncle or something, and it's twelve o'clock, hey, throw that BMF on. Yeah. So do you think Fifty should stick in the lane of just doing shows, or he should like start now moving towards like movies? I mean, without him in it, whatever he comfortable at. Honestly, like, I mean, shit, he wasn't he wasn't get rich or die trying because that was his movie, but. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think he can do good movies. I mean, he it's really it's really up to him, honestly. Because I watched the Four Life show, and he he's in that show, but he's actually like a producer, director in that show too. Mm-hmm. Like that's a good show. Like you know, Four what Life. Saying? Yeah, Four yeah, Life yeah. on ABC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I that. fuck with it. That's actually a good show. So I mean, it's up to him, really. Yeah. For life was one of those things that I got into like on the humbum, and I just couldn't turn that shit off. Like it got to like five no, that in the shit, morning. That shit good. That shit good. And I was like, I gotta get an hour nap in yeah. before I go to work. That shit good. That yeah. shit good. And then it was like they took that break. Um, then they came back because COVID was, fucked yeah. them up. Yeah, and then but they they was able to add that into the actual mm-hmm. film, and so that was you know that was. That was good to see that they stayed current. They was doing the Black Lives Matter mm-hmm. when the Black Lives Matter shit was happening. Um, and then when COVID happened, they was able to, to implement that into it also. So, good shit from Fifty Man. I didn't know he did that one. Yeah, he. That's his show. That's, that's what's his up. Show. Big up. But yeah. That nigga doing this thing. Uh, hopefully, with this, uh, he wrapped this Power Book shit up too, so we can have other shows inserted. <laughs> That, that's my only thing, because now I got to wait until this shit over for the next one to come out. That's the only thing. Like, I can't believe y'all niggas really be gassing that show, bro. That show was so ass. I didn't gas shit, but I just said, I'm I'm new to all this shit, so, hey, man. That shit is mid. They know that shit mid. Compared to compared to how Power started and how yeah. it ended, that shit is terrible. Oh, yeah. See, seasons one through three was flawless. 100%. Oh, I did, thought- I did finally go back to watch one through three, because I started, like, yeah. season four or some right. shit like that. Ten out of ten. Yeah, season one to three was flawless for the first for the first power. Yeah. yeah. Tommy and Ghost relationship is I didn't want to see that shit spiral into what yeah. the fuck that shit spiraled but into. That's how that shit be. Yeah. So. Nah, to be honest with you, Ghost should still be alive. Yeah, he should. Yeah. Like oh, 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 so, <laughs> it's like we being real, like if you want to transition into like his son, just make it more realistic. Yeah. Make it more realistic. Don't make it to where this this motherfucker is so rebellious, like motherfuckers getting pit, like Kane and getting caught with a gun in his whip, in the trunk, in the trunk, naked, butt naked, wide open. The too. trunk, the gun just in the trunk, like, just ta-da. sitting there like, like come on, man, like the gun like this. Yeah. <laughs> like when has that ever been like for him to be even caught slipping like that? You see what I'm saying, like. But I, I could have noticed like around season four when they started really getting on that bullshit, bro. They like, lost them. They lost a lot of writers though. They didn't want to pay a lot of them boys. And also, but I didn't pay attention to it because the show was so good. Kanan should have been dead too. Kanan should have died when Ghost when Ghost when and Kanan fought fire. in that little. This nigga put the damn gas around him, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck that. This like, nigga come put, on, this bro. This nigga put a uh, six inch. Blade of sharp glass in this nigga's side, and he still got up that building, bruh. You forget he stabbed that nigga with that big ass shard of glass. Fuck that, bruh. Even then, even if you got him on the floor, bruh, my whole thing is is like, how do you not set him on a fire? Yeah. You put the gas around. That should have been my first sign. So now all they gotta do is hop out that shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, like come on, bruh. Like, what we doing? Like, the type of time niggas is on, but hey, fuck. 
I, I overlooked that because of how great that shit was. But outside of that, nah, dog. Like, no, I'm not he right. definitely poured all that shit around this nigga, dog. Like that. How the fuck this nigga did not burn up completely, though? It's nigga, crazy. Nigga was doing a ritual instead of trying to kill him, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some ritual type shit. <laughs> Then when I saw the scratches on the, then the damn water shit came on. Mm-hmm. You see know what I'm saying? So it's like, come on, ghost man. And he was a cold blooded, strategical, surgical killer from day one. But with him, you go put the gas around the motherfucker and put a bullet in his head. Then put a bullet in his head. Nothing. Yeah, hey, I see that shit. I just want to understand it sometimes, man. I don't know. Some of these shows just be too sloppy with the shit, even for a build up. Like, if you want to extend some shit, cool. Make the extension believable. That's why I just can't get into Power Book yeah. Two, bro. I can't get into that. Like shit. fucking Councilman Tate. Why the fuck is this nigga still a, a thing? Yeah, like that could easily be gone. That character should have been gone. <laughs> sex. Bang go like r- that nigga should have been killed. Man. Get yeah. him to move, fire. You know how many times this motherfucker have been fired, suspended? Like in real life, what lawyer is still around behind after all that, that shit? That do happen in real life. Those yeah. are a lot of shitty lawyers who don't be losing me. Yeah. They they accreditation. Yeah, right. Bro. Well he should have been dead too. No, nah, I feel you. I feel you though. I feel you. <laughs> but in real life though, like a lot of lawyers just be getting on through, bro. Like they be shitty ass lawyers. It be taking like niggas to go viral. Like on a public scale, for them boy to be losing their accreditation as lawyers first, bro. Like I've seen this shit, but no, I agree that nigga Sax should have been there. Yeah, it don't make no sense. Ain't, ain't a nigga been in Sax house or some shit one of, on one of them episodes? Yeah, I think the boy that snuck in this ghost nigga lying again. Yeah, yeah like, to kill, bro. come like, on, bro. Like, and I was ready for that shit. I've been ready for that boy to die. Man's a clown, dog. Yeah, he be getting bro. away with so much fuck shit. I just don't understand. Now they got him with um Method Man as a lawyer. Like, yes. <sighs> Anyways, even Big- with that, like, how? Oh, man. <laughs> like I said, with Tommy shit, I hope Tommy shit gonna be fire though. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. I saw the trailer for that. I think it's gonna be good. Y'all checked out that King Richard yet? Mm-mm. I'm gonna probably peep that tonight too. Yeah, everybody's saying that's gonna be a good movie. I'm not feeding into no negative tweets or stories about that. I'm going to go see the movie for what it is, and I'm going to salute that man. Because to be honest with you, I've been saluting that man for what he did with them too anyway. So. And then his daughters wrote yeah. off on the movie and produced the movie, so I'm not going for nobody trying to slander this man. Off oh, I'm not reading no critics. Shit that we know about, shit that might. We don't... Like I said, man, we like, don't have too many stories like that. In cinema yeah, anyway, like so, so like, like for us to get one, and then like y'all want to harp on some shit that we didn't know about until like, a couple eh. years ago. Like for one, y'all white, y'all yeah, white. So for one, y'all stay over there with that shit. You know what I'm saying? For two, like Mike say, like we don't have these these many stories like this. Like this man willed them girls to where they at right now. Like, and it, it go to show because they actually produced this movie. They wrote off on this movie. Like I'm not, I ain't going for none of that, man. Like, I'm a, I'm gonna watch the movie for what it is, and that's just what it is. Like, mm-hmm. I'm about to be partaking in slander in this man just because some shit that might be true came out. I didn't know about that shit then. You know what I'm saying? I can feel how I feel about that situation and still salute him for what he did with those girls. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. So. You know, it is what it is, man. I'm still going to support that movie when I get a chance. No, I'm definitely going to check it out. I saw a lot of people trying to compare it to Lo- him to LeVar Ball. I don't see the play there. LeVar Ball should need a, definitely deserves a movie. No, definitely. You I can see say it. the Rocks have played LeVar. <laughs> no. No. Man, let, 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 let an oven I'm come tired. out. They be trying to make this man like a superhuman. I swear I'm not hating on the Rock, but he doesn't have to do every fucking thing, dog. Like, no. Mm-hmm. I think it don't fight. Fucking, <laughs> this nigga done did every fucking kind of movie, dog. Nigga, he's been he's been the Scorpion King. Uh huh. He's been the Mummy. He's the been mummy. one of the mummies he's, on that. He's shit doing his too. natural disaster he's shit. He's been in Fast and Furious. He been he did a natural disaster movie with one fucking leg. He I did. The, he, he this nigga had a mechanical leg and was still kicking ass and yeah. in, the, yeah. in, the, in the in the mechanic. The like nigga he was, was a doing pirate. He the, was a he was a town sheriff. And um, what movie was that? When um, he, long um. 
go uh, big or some shit like that. Or? Shit. He walking around with the two by he four. He was whooping niggas ass with that two by four. He was whooping <laughs> niggas ass with that two by four. The one where he played the father or the daughter, the football player or some yeah, shit. Yeah, that was oh, uh, that? That's when he put on the dress. He put on the dress. Yeah. They, they, they got the black. Well, I don't know if he want to be black, but he got. He was in the dress. Black and Samoa and big up. He, uh, well, he done. He been. He was. He was in Central Intelligence with with, with, Ke- uh, with Kevin uh, Kevin Hart. He was the fat kid. Now he was the in shape dude. He was in Jumanji. Two of them bitches. Like the nigga. The nigga done everything. He's a universal actor at this point. I don't think he should be Levar Ball though. No. That's a. Can you imagine seeing The Rock playing basketball? Like even just like. <laughs> that's just gonna look. What? This shit whack. That shit gonna look wild, dog. No, nah, let 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 somebody else come and up some, do that. Get bro. some other like, actor to no, let somebody else come yeah, in up do doing that. that shit, bro. Like real talk, like Lavar Ball do need a movie though. He yeah. do need a movie because everything that he spoke about, like he did that shit. Yeah, mm. but I think you know one of the biggest things that is to take away is everything that the critics had to say. All the last, all the oh he's outrageous. Oh he's just, they were trying to clown this man, yeah. now. Like they they made so much shit about Lavar, but Lavar was one hundred percent correct. And the same thing about um, Serena and Venus' father. You know they they said oh like oh, what the hell is this? You know what I mean? Like them like, boy got video of uh, uh, Richard uh, Richard like yelling, barking on like people were interviewing Venus because they kept trying to make her walk back like her confidence on certain things. And yeah. he was like. Yo, like she said what the hell she said, bro. Like, why are you trying to make this? This is a little girl at the end of the day. Like, why y'all trying to make her like walk back certain shit that she say about her being confident in her skills? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, not a like, proper caller. You need shit like that. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? Because had he not been there, they could have did whatever they want with her in that room. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? As far as like her answers and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So, nah, man. I'm gonna support that movie, bro. Nah, big up, man. And salute to a lot more fathers like that. I know we talk about the Laval balls and you know he him getting his just due. It's a, it's a lot of so other, it's a few of them boys yeah. out there now. Shout out to the holidays, the holidays they fathers. Yeah, he got three sons in mm-hmm. there. Is it three or two? I think it's three of them. Right? Three, three of them. them. It's three. Yeah, he got three sons in the NBA it's three doing of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So shout out to uh, holidays father. Shit, Dale Curry. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Dale. With it, both his boys, both one of his boys, and his daughter NBA play. Legend. His daughter play. Uh, don't his daughter play somewhere she was too? Playing volleyball. Or something yeah, like. like that. But she's uh she married to uh Lee off of um And we all know Dell, he's been active in them boys' lives like Yeah. So yeah, man, shout out to them, man. I'm gonna definitely go support and see that movie. Too. But it's beautiful to see this shit because not only is it this is. a, a and black we haven't father, had a movie like right. this really. Not as just a black father, but this is a black father who has two girls that dominated a white sport coming up during a crazy time and era of life. See what I'm saying? Like it was whooping all them girls' ass. Come on now, <laughs> like it's it's a lot to take in from this shit. But just not to say like you know how the people enjoy bashing black men. This is a this is an opportunity to see black man really taking care of business and handling his own. So big ups to him. Big ups to the movie. Definitely supporting that. No doubt for sure. We need more positive uh, black movies like that anyway. Yeah. No more slave shits. Yeah, for, and, and plus, from what I've been seeing, them boys say we'll body that role. Yeah, no more slave shits. No more of that white people savior yeah, shit. Yeah, <laughs> white people uh, killing black people, trying to be the whatever the case may be. We off that man. Make a new movie, bro. We're we're done with those shits. Pack that shit up. Like they got the uh, what's that movie? The uh, the white girl name. What's that shit called? Um, Karen. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> well, they actually got a movie called Karen. Yeah. Like, that's a real movie? Like, yeah. About this black couple living in this rich-ass white neighborhood. She basically, so basically she's they, a racist. They shook at her, basically. Nobody wants to see she's that She's a bullshit, killer type man. shit, or whatever the case may be. Whatever the shit is. The shit, I'm just over that storyline, bro. Like, get over that shit. So do some different shit. That's on the mainstream. You want to do that shit on low end? Cool. Don't put this shit on the main shits. Like, yeah, leave that shit straight for yeah. like, that shit for the, 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 the two dollar bin that yeah. you go get at Dollar Tree. <laughs> yeah, put straight yeah. to Tubi or some shit. shit over there. Man. Keep that shit over there. We're done with that. We need Tubi. more uplifting movies. A Tubi exclusive app or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I think I think I think when uh when we got get out, that opened the door for a lot more of that no, shit. No, it did. We, we had that already. Get out was a gift and a curse because I like the movie, but it, like you say, like that opened the floodgates for a lot of other bullshit to come out, bro. Definitely right. Because right after that, we had an actual 
Then they had an actual slave runaway TV series come on after that. I didn't see that. Because it had, had old girl from uh, Lovecraft Country. She was in that show. Mm. She was in that show. She was one of the runaways. Like, I was yeah, like, bro, what is that? Up. Nobody watching that bullshit, man. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool on that, man. Yeah. So Jay Prince got yay and Drake the reconcile, man. <laughs> a free Larry Hoover concert benefit concert coming on December 9th. I knew this show was gonna get squashed when I saw Ye with with Jay Prince at the boxing match. I was like, oh yeah, niggas ain't even paid that no attention, but yeah, this shit coming, bro. That shit's so fake. Worst rap beef in history to me. That shit, why? Right. And it's not even <laughs> they ain't really have a beef. Yeah, it wasn't. No it was between Pusha and Drake. Then the shit transition to Drake and Kanye. Kanye not making no diss records, man. This was between Drake and Pusha T. And this shit transition is spiraled out of control to some shit that we ain't even asked for. We ain't asked for none of this shit to be honest. And this shit's so fake. The picture fake. J Prince is the only one who's like really, like, really happy to be in that picture. That's for one. Number two, body language. The video, everything. the video was even more cringeworthy. Yeah, throwing up the sign, peace sign. Knock it off, man. Y'all don't fuck with each other, man. He's got Dave Chappelle at the spot chilling and shit. That shit's so fake, man. That shit fake as fuck. <laughs> but I hope whatever they do, you know, the concert for Larry Hoover that does do him some just do. Um, I saw the second half of Ye's interview and his son was speaking a lot towards that. Mm-hmm. You know, he always seen his father in jail. He almost, well, he damn near, yeah, he is 40. He's 47 years He's old. He's 47 years old. He's That's ridiculous, seen, bro. So your dad been in jail 47 years of your life. That's ridiculous. The whole 47. This man got kids now. Like his, That's 30. He got, yeah. yeah. My age. That's ridiculous, bro. That's my age. Like, nah, pack that shit up, man. Like, that shit ridiculous, man. He deserves to be. And I see dumbass niggas. Even do to like from what I hear about, like, I feel like the man done served his time. He done served it. He served his time twice over. Like you got dumb niggas talk about something, why they not doing the con like they trying to take shots at Yay talk about why they not doing the shit in Chicago. And I'm like, bro, are y'all fucking are y'all slow? Does it matter? No, like if he Bro, a Larry Hoover concert in Chicago. Are y'all slow? No, nah, y'all slow, bro. Like, let's be real here, bro. I'm starting to believe that's what a lot of niggas are, man. Like, see, the, the CPD shutting that shit down, bro, immediately. I don't give a fuck if it's Ye and Drake there, bro. Y'all got Larry Hoover here. Y'all doing something for Larry Hoover. We shutting this shit down. It's best that they do that shit in L.A., bro. Do we see Drake and Kanye collaborating on music going forward? Um, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Cause even listening to listening to that second half of the drink champs, like, like Ye don't got no beef with this nigga, bro. He just that had let niggas know, like, quit playing with me, bro. Like it's like he the way he broke the shit down, like, cause even if you if you listen to him break like even like beef down, like rap beef, like he right, bro. Like, like it's it's bigger than what y'all what y'all trying to. What In y'all terms do. of them, is nothing was gonna come from. No, them. nothing's gonna come. But I yeah. get I get his I get his reasoning for certain shit. Now yeah. that you explain it, like, like nigga, like, like, okay, yeah, you move around the corner for me, cool. But now you doing all this other shit in these songs, and then when I approach y'all about certain shit, and I'm trying to, this is behind the scenes, and I'm, pro- I'm approaching y'all about, hey, what this line mean, or hey, what does mean, and y'all ignoring me. Okay, now it's, it's different now. Mm-hmm. It's completely different. So yeah, nigga, quit fucking playing with me. I'm putting all y'all in this fucking thread now. And then we even got no, like he even said, even with that, it's not no beef. I'm just letting niggas know, leave me, to, leave me alone with the funny shit. Mm-hmm. Just leave me alone with the funny shit, Because if it, niggas could have been got down, in my opinion. That's what I'm saying. We live around the corner from each other, bro, but I'm hitting you up and y'all ignoring me about shit. All right, now niggas being, now niggas trying to be funny to me, bro. Like, like what we really doing here? That whole shit just was so yeah, fake. Yeah, the whole shit fake, man. The whole like, shit fake. And it, it, it for all that, we could have just got some great music out this shit, to be honest. Like, it's not like we, we couldn't get a, a great collab between Drake and Kanye. Like, we could have we could have been had that. Could have been had Could have been shit, had bro. that. Y'all niggas ain't never collab on nothing. The most you ever did was collab, was produce some tracks for him. That's about it. Could have been had so much, so much heat, bro. Like. That's it. So, I mean, just get in the studio, do some shit, and get that shit up out of here, man. Like, no more beef, no more petty shots. No more. It's just too much extra shit. Y'all could have been had records together. We ain't got a Drake and Kanye record together at all. 
not for y'all, not for from what I hear, Kanye say it's not even really no beef on his end. Like, not for all that, bro. This nigga produced two birds, one stone. You see what I'm saying? That's what this that push it like that. That'd be my thing. For this shit ain't really about nothing. And he really had to start with him anyway. So it just transitioned into some some like like y'all niggas in kindergarten type shit. That that's what it's like, niggas, this, like niggas, this is this is elementary shit. Niggas having pissing matches, bro. And they just inviting both their fan bases into the pissing match. And the shit corny to me, bro. The shit was corny. That's all it was. It was a big ass pissing match. Who can do what? And it is what it is. Like the shit was corny. <laughs> Not for y'all, not for both of y'all to be rounded up by one phone call and be in front of the nigga house like this. <laughs> Jay Prince gonna get the shit done though. That's all I got to say about that. Jay Prince say he shut it down, it's gonna be shut down. That's the only way I look at it. Hey man, it's down. Squ- hey, squash, it's squash. Hey, y'all hear me? It's squash. Hey, when down south Thanos call, you niggas answer the fucking phone. That's real shit. That's <laughs> how real shit. And I was like, this is real shit, and it's been like that. The only nigga who rebelled against Jay Prince successfully was NBA Young yeah, Boy. Yeah, NBA Young Boy. He, he cut different. Yeah. I'm pretty sure when Jay Prince saw that, that was video. was really mad about that shit. No, he, he was right. That was, no, right, was right, though. He was right. He like, was if right. you have some information for me, bro, don't put it on it. Don't try to put it on like you doing me a favor, because that look like you're trying to extort me, honestly, on the low, bro. Yeah. Like, because... That was some personal shit. Those personal items, bro. Like, yeah. Like, bro, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I respect you, bro, but I'm not like your little homie or nothing like that, bro. Just hit me up on, you know, like I on the this, side, on the side, like. Yo, you, I know who got you. You drop, you drop all the statement and shit. Like, you trying to get me to do some shit for you just because of that, bro? Like, no, no, I don't have to do nothing. Okay, no, if you did out of the kindness of your heart, let it be that. That's exactly what it should have been. That's exactly what it was. Like, yo, I got information on who got your such, you know, such as your items. I know who you broke in your house, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But this man did the whole shit and dropped the statement. And it was performative. Hey, bro. <laughs> yeah. Remember the video? Nah, I remember the shit. Like, dude. hey, bro, young boy got it. That nigga he quick, bro. Like, he didn't like that shit. I feel him. <laughs> hey, one thing about it, bro. When you make that nigga mad, it don't matter if he driving. It don't matter if he in his house. You gonna make a video? You, you go. You gonna feel his side of the story, bro. I did feel like that wasn't necessary. No, I, f- I felt. But I now felt for nothing. Like it's good that he was a peacemaker within this situation yeah. because it 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 done had got too goofy, and we wasn't getting nothing out of it. But yeah. pissing matches and shots here and there, and niggas leaking other niggas' records that be good anyway. <laughs> so like, saying, like like the shit be the shit. <laughs> it's dumb. It, it it holds no weight, man. It holds no weight. You know. Also, I wanted you to speak to. Um, I texted you about this early this week. And I forgot to cover that at the tail end of the uh, early conversation with the baby and his girl. But, uh, you know, men having to deal with, um, you know, the women of their child or the women that they're with at the time, post their child, dealing with postpartum too. Like, do you feel like there needs to be more conversations for what men have to deal with in that situation? Um, I think it do. And um, in saying that, I don't. I'm not trying to take nothing away from the women because it's actually the women actually do deal with it, but the it's it's actually men who who are there for support who go through the same shit and they don't have nobody to speak to or understand what they're going through as well. Do you think it? Do you think therapy is needed in that situation? Yeah, hell yeah. It's not wrong going to therapy after after dealing with that. No, like even during. Yeah. Do you, or do you think it can help? Yeah, it, it would help. Yeah, for sure. For sure. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but yeah, like I've been saying, like I just feel like it should be it's not sp- it's not spoken of enough of what the men go through as well, dealing with that. Not saying that, you know, they're not trying to deal with it, but you know, if you're trying to be there for your girl or your your wife or whatever, she have a baby, she you know, she go through that situation on her mental, you know, you you sleep with her every night, like you lay with her every night, like uh-huh. you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get some of the brunt of that too. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Just just from being a support system. Uh-huh. So in turn, who do you go to is to help you to help you as well? Uh-huh. Because as the man, of course, you're supposed to be there for her. You're supposed to do this, and that's not a problem. You but know when what she's saying? going through what she's going through, you can't confide to her in that situation. Yeah, because at the end of the day, like, what's with a situation like that was like, you know, like she's not trying to hear you speak on your problems as well. Like mm-hmm. she's going through yeah a dark patch with uh-huh. that shit. So it's like. You know, 
It should be. It definitely. So how 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 do men prepare for that? Oh, uh, that's a good question. How do men prepare to uh, possibly deal with postpartum depression? That's a good question. Like it's it's tough because some women some women have babies and don't have nothing going on. Mm-hmm. Some women do. It just happened that that woman, the women who don't, that's a small percentage, but it's a lot of women who go through shit. Sometimes they 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 you know they know they going through something. They let their partner know. Sometimes you know they don't know they really going through something. And they just lashing out and. You know, other things may come from that. But All right, so let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Two questions. Do you feel like you was prepared for it? And number two, do you feel like you did a good job of dealing with it? Um, was I prepared for it? No. Uh, did I do a good job? I, I did the best I could do. You know what I'm saying? That's not a shot at, you know, her or, you know, it's just... You know, we both was first time parents. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. nobody, nobody tells you, hey, you're going to wake up one day and... You know, boom, you know, you're here. You know what I'm saying? Nobody tells you that. Nobody tells you, you know, hey, uh, you know, look out for this. She might be, she might look out for these signs from her. You know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. It'd be little shit. It'd be little shit now, but to to the person going through it, it may, they may feel they're going through it by themselves sometimes because, you know, you so used to for one you for one you you trying to you trying to make sure that the, that the child's taken care of so it's like not, that's first priority not yeah. saying that you're not thinking about your partner but you know sometimes it it do sometimes certain things do fall by the wayside and it's not nobody's fault I feel like when I hear that the best that you can do in my opinion because I don't have a child I don't know is making the making life for her as easy as possible mm-hmm. and I feel like. Whatever you can do to make life for her as easy as possible, dealing with that, do that. As far as like the question that I posed to you, yeah, I would assume. Now looking back, I, it I, is. I would assume like you just take whether it be you know even taking the baby outside just yeah. to get air so she can have or having a day where she can just have to herself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying or days. You know what I'm yeah. saying like mm-hmm. days, whatever the case may be, whatever it is, so y'all don't have to. Butt heads mm-hmm. when she's going through that, do that. And I feel like what that would entail is like, you know, just having the baby, you know, to yourself for an X amount of time mm-hmm. where she can just, you know, just focus on herself and not have a worry. Yeah, for sure. And even, even, cause I asked that even with uh, watching Insecure, they had an episode where it was focused on Lawrence and him and Condola having the baby. Mm-hmm. And I think it wasn't expressed in the show. I might, even if I might have missed it. It might have seemed like she was going through that. It might be. It might have been. And with him being in another city, him having to fly from San Francisco to LA, whatever the case may be. He not he not really He's not there yeah. in person. Because for one, they're not together. They're not yeah. together. So that's another that's another aspect. They're not together. So for, of course, he not even really thinking of her like that to be like, Hey, are you are you okay? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? He thinking of it like, damn, I got this baby. You know what I'm saying? It's already an unsavory situation for him. So he just thinking that hey, I'm just trying to take care of my child. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what the child mother going through. You know what I'm saying? Like, but uh, for a lot of first time parents, they uh, it do happen to a lot of them, and a lot of them not prepared for it because at the end of the day, like it's not there's not a lot of avenues for the men. And if there is, I might I could be wrong. If somebody do know, let me know. I definitely spread the word. I definitely do believe that you know a lot of men they do need a support system as well if they going through that with their partner. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a two person thing. It definitely is. Yeah, I just feel like, you know, it, it's not like it's a manual for it. No, it's not. That's, it's what, that's like, what I'm saying. Like, how do how do men prepare for dealing with a possibility of that? Like, even the day I come, I want to have a child. I want to be in a position to where Cause I, I can be prepared like, even, for that. Even, not saying I want it to happen, but I want to be at least prepared to if that was that situation was to come up. I know how to handle it. Cause even like when you, even I'll just put me for example. Like when I'm asking like my uncles, I'm asking my pops, and you know, just some of the older people I look up to. Like, like what do you do? Like this and that. Like they just telling me shit for the child. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Cause that's at the end of the day, that's what that's what they know. Hey, I gotta take care of this child. You know what I'm saying? Child, child, child. Make sure you got this in order. They make sure you already got this going on. Is it more than that though? Do you think it's more than just a child? If you would, if you if you are serious about being with the with your with the mother of your child, yes, <laughs> yes, you gotta. So make you have to cater to not just 
the child, but also her. Yes, too. yes, yes. It's a team. It's a it's a whole. It's a whole. Yes, man. Yes. Like that's what I'm saying. Like looking back on it, it's things that I did do that I I felt was right. It's a lot of things that I wish I could go back and do differently. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But like I said, like when you a first time and you and especially both y'all first time is just like you know y'all just there. Like you know what I'm saying? You gotta figure this shit out. And sometimes people. The shit just get to, it get to, you know, before you know it, you're engulfed in this and you don't know, you know, it happens quick sometimes to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like it, even with, even when it first comes up, I think therapy, therapy would be great um, as just far as solutions to that. Because at the end of the day, like you said, you both have a child to, to look after. Even when you're not around, she still has to deal with the child. Mm-hmm. So you want to make sure she's in a good space mentally, even if she is dealing with that, to like be okay if you're not around. You see what I'm saying? Right. Even with dealing with that. So I think that's a question that a lot of a lot of us don't even ask. Like how to even to prepare for that or even to deal with that. Like what are the steps that you take? Yeah. It's just, I don't know, man. Like... I don't know, man. Like certain, I know for for certain steps, I feel like uh, communication is key for for. That's like the biggest thing, man. Mm-hmm. Like that's 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 gonna be the thing that make or break anything. Like any type of union, any type of bond, relationship, anything. Like especially if you bring in a child, like the communication is everything, man. And that's on both sides. Like if it's something that you feel like you you got questions as as a man. Or you feel like you might have a shortcoming with, you know, it's, it's best that y'all have as as many upfront conversations as possible so y'all know what y'all are dealing with with each other first. You know what I'm saying? So it's not nothing nothing's nothing's taking you by surprise with your partner. Like that's the biggest thing. Because something might happen, you'd be like, damn, like, you could have just told me that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Instead of me just figuring out now, and now it's like, damn, it's Four thirty in the morning, and, and little shorty crying, mm-hmm. and I and I just found you just told me this, and it's like, damn, like, all right, man, and that might that might been the last straw for you. You never know. Mm-hmm. So communication is the biggest thing. It's all about communication, man. Yeah. So we just got. I just saw some breaking news on the TL. What so <laughs> Meg Thee Stallion won uh, best hip hop album at the AMAs, American Music Awards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good for her. She got it over Drake, Pop Smoke, Juice World, and let me see, Drake, Juice World, Pop Smoke, Raw Wave. She beat Drake for at American Music Awards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, give me congratulations to her. Congrat, yeah. <laughs> I found that shocking though. I no, it's very that. shocking. It's very shocking. I mean, for all the albums, because usually Drake be sweeping year, them shit. Yeah, but like even even for the albums this year that we had dropped, like the nominees, I think even should have been a little bit broader. Did they go out this year albums or last year albums for this year AMAs? Shit, good news was this year, wasn't it? Good news was this year. I had to look it up and see. Good news was this year. It was this year. When that had that had to have been. Um, that was like around summertime, right? No, that was last year. That was last year? November. Damn. So I guess they go on, I guess they like they got a certain cutoff, like yeah, the Grammys. It was cutoff, it was cutoff then. So it came out November 2020. So it was exactly a year. Crazy. Now I didn't see her getting it over there. Like even shit. I'm surprised Kanye wasn't nominated, but I guess he would be in a different category. He'd be in a different category. Oh, okay. Hey man, <laughs> we'll see what all the winners is. I don't really be caring about. It. I just saw that shit. Everybody talking about that shit. Oh, you know they're gonna do that for her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you, you know I'm gonna let her have that. Um, yeah, what's good for her? Yeah, man. So, uh, <laughs> what else? What else we had going on, man? Drew, your Colts got a big win today against the Bills. Yeah, sir. Foot to ass. So we are six and five now. <laughs> yep. Uh, Tennessee lost, which I needed. Um, Man, and they also, it is a wild ass fucking Sunday. Yeah. Tennessee, they, oh yeah, Tennessee did. Yeah, they lost, lost fucking Texans, and that's a divisional loss. So that's good for us. Yeah, but we you just, already played them twice, right? Who the Texans? No, mm-hmm. the Titans. Yeah, but we done played them twice. And they sweep y'all. 
Mm-hmm. We went to overtime with them, what, two weeks ago? Yeah, they won that overtime. Y'all supposed there. to win that one. Yeah, I know. Yeah. See, we sit with... Uh, Technically, we should now. be on the. Technically, we should be on the eight game winning with, streak. With the Bills, yeah, y'all should. But with the Bills losing, we we top our we top our division. Yeah, so right that now. worked out for you. Yeah, we lost to the seven and four high ago. Washington. We lost to a team with no name. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, I don't like. I don't coach, like that shit. And our former backup. I ain't gonna spend too much time on that because I'm gonna get mad all yeah, over. Yeah, I don't like that shit. But uh, yeah, man, it's been just been a wild couple weeks, man. In the NFL, I don't understand what the fuck is the going volatile. on. Volatile. It's the volatility of the league, man. <laughs> Shit whack as fuck, man. Shit be breaking down like college basketball sometimes. How niggas be losing, bro? Like, like the, like the, like the upsets and shit like that. Sometimes yeah. like, it don't be making sense to me, man. I could have won so much money just on Jonathan Taylor alone. I didn't have to put a bet on anything that else. Nigga had five touchdowns. That, five man won, that man went insane today. All I had to do is take the fucking over and then put Jonathan Taylor getting three touchdowns, yeah. and I probably would have. I would have. He had three out. TDs before the before the first half was over. Did not. If I saw those, if I saw the conditions in um. Buffalo, before um, doing my parlays, I would have definitely did because it was fucking raining, cold. Y'all put foot to ass up there. Yes, sir. We smoking. <laughs> we smoking Griselda packs. Uh. Smoking Griselda packs. Yes, sir. We're rolling up Buffalo kids. Yes, sir. <laughs> Get them out of here. Hey. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. Oh my god, they got some bad losses this year, man. Who they the lost Bills? to the Jacksonville Jaguars yeah. a few weeks back, nine six. I don't think it was a bad loss to y'all, but I did not see y'all beating. They them got their ass whooped today, though. Y'all whooped their ass because y'all been a week by week team too. In terms of identity, like y'all have a real fucked up loss one week, and then you'll come out and you'll beat. You'll beat the team. We, the the out thing about it is, we hop up fourteen shit. Very early in the first in the first uh, I said quarter, that too. I was like, man, watch the Colts jump out fourteen. This is before the game, so I said, man, watch the Colts jump out like fourteen on. They still lose, but no, y'all nah, mean we held it on. We held it down this time. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Thank the fucking Lord. Thirty-eight to seven is an ass whooping, boy. That's an ass cutting. Love it. I love it here. But Especially we got Tampa Bay next week, so yeah, need it's a y'all, good. Need y'all to take care of that. It's it's a good momentum run. No, that's, you know that's, what a, I'm that's a big win going into to play Tampa Bay. Especially the way that win. shit played out in the AFC Championship last, or uh, well, the wild card um, mm-hmm. between them. You know, we should have won that shit with fucking goofy ass Phillip Rivers. Whatever, it's a new year. Here we are. Um, but yeah, I'm glad we did we get that dub today. No kizzy. Yeah, man. Cam played a great game today with the yes, defense side to be. Two some throwing touchdown, one rushing touchdown. It's a good day. 2019 type defense. Some shit I ain't seen all year. Like these niggas decided, you know, Gilmore wasn't according to him. He's still working his way to get up to a full package. Okay, cool. But next man up. If he ain't ready, shut yet. the fuck up, Dante Jackson. You looking for bread in the all season, bro? Like you, this is the matchups that get you your bread. And I don't understand it. Then the run defense, they was getting fucking stuffed today. Like. I don't understand it. And it's the fucking Washington. Like, this Taylor Heineke shit, bro, I'm not rolling, bro. I, mean, I seen what he was with us. Like, Three tutties on the day? Not saying that he wasn't going to be a little better, but it's like, for Rivera to outcoach us is just funny because he's, in my opinion, he's never really outcoached nobody. He right. coached us. That's the shit that I be talking about. Like, it be former players and coaches be getting off on us, and I can never understand it. Like, we decide to let these two motherfuckers look like some... All pro type shit? Like, yeah. I don't understand it. And our defense has been lights out all year, but this is the game that y'all decide to lay down. Y'all niggas, fan base telling me Phil Snow is the best coach on the team. Mm. Didn't look like it. You ain't made no adjustments all day, bro. So I can't I can't put it on cam. I can't yeah. put it on offense. Don't cry about the O-line neither because they played a great game today. Yeah. I don't want to hear none of that shit. They got the sack at the end of the game. They was due for one. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Like, but Caffrey, the, what? Game been, the game should have been over. Like The defense laid down today. Point blank yeah. period. No, I'm not blaming the O-line. I'm not blaming nothing else besides the defense. All 11 guys on defense played shitty today. All 11 of them. Nobody played great on the defense side. Not Shaq, not Burns, not Hassan Reddick. Yeah. None of them played up the part of this. This ain't on cam, but we know the narrative is going to play it like it's on cam. That's like what I said. Yeah, yeah, you had Washington football players talking about, oh, I thought he was back. Fuck out of here, man. That's one. I mean, man, I fuck 21 that for 27 on y'all. What the fuck are you talking about? Bro? Right. All right. And not to mention them, McCaffrey 119 yards yeah, on like, the fucking the day. Office, the office was the back office on y'all did their ass. fucking thing. Like, what Cam, you talking about, one bro? rushing touchdown, two throwing touchdowns. Stop playing, bro. Yeah, and a rushing touchdown, too. So it's like, stop playing. Some, some clown shit, man. But 
Yeah, man. We got anything else before we get up out of here? Um, yeah, I'm going to just say this shit because I just thought about this shit. Um, back to Zach Stacy. Now, I, again, this shit isn't right. But that, that damn lineman from the Seahawks who dragged that black woman. Chad Wheeler. Yeah. N- never got charged with anything. He mm-hmm. never got charged with anything? He has not been charged. So, and this woman, she, she's not okay. Like, this girl has cuts and bruises, and yeah, she might have yeah, been, you know, slapped bruise. off and shit, like, got a few times and stuff. But she doesn't have, like, like people have to check on her weekly because she's still, like, her concussions are that bad. Like, Buddy really fucked her up. So, I just want to see that same energy go across the whole fucking board. We're not going to do this black and white shit on this case. Right is right, wrong is wrong. You don't put your hand on no female. Yeah. Zach Stacy go down. Uh, Mr. Wheeler needs to go down too. That's all. That's my last word on that shit. Facts. I agree. Something up better than that. I didn't even know that he wasn't charged. I thought he was about to face trial for that. Shit. Nah, I, I'd have to look he that pulled, shit he up. He tried to pull like the mental card or some shit yeah. like that. Back CC then. bullshit too. No, he actually was nah, like he, he had, was like, trying to say like he wasn't all right. He wasn't all right and all that other shit. But yeah, but people he made himself a victim. On try to use that too. Yeah, like, he made himself a victim like immediately. Like you know what I'm saying. But fuck him too, bro. But um, yeah, man. Yeah, fuck all them niggas, man. For real though, for real, for real. We don't condone that bullshit on this show. Yeah, sure don't. So keep. Y'all I don't even associate nobody who put hands on women. So for real though. Yeah, that'd be the end of that. And that's a fact. Yeah, man. Like I said earlier, though, man. Rest in peace, to Young Dolph, man. Mm. Um, prayers to his family. Prayers to his kids. Prayers to his wife. And you know, uh, hey man, hold it down for your people, man. Be there for your friends and family, man. You know, we got holiday season coming up, man. You know, it's easy to get caught up in all the material shit going on. You know, every, you know, everybody feel like outside, back open. Mm-hmm. Everybody want to drop checks and show on everybody, man. The most important thing is actually spending the time with your people. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Let's not forget about that. So and, and all them niggas. Off. Yeah. Them niggas damn grabbing them Lucci bags no and more, shit. Yeah, that's crazy. All at yeah, your boy. Like, that's crazy. You saw that shit, yes, man? Sir. Like, <laughs> you saw that shit out there in, um, in San Fran? They had like uh there was like twenty five cars blocked off this one block and everybody just rested the Nordstroms and shit. Dumb shit. Like yeah. went crazy, that's bro. Dumb shit. And then the week before, like early this week, they they ran through Louis like that yeah, out Chicago. there. Chicago. Yeah, going crazy. It's dumb the shit. season. It's the fucking season. Hey, man, season. y'all gonna fuck around and before you know it, you go in these stores. They're not getting away with that. It's gonna be number NFTs in that bitch, bro. All right. <laughs> they gonna have all that shit in the back or somewhere yeah, in a right. vault. Like, y'all yep. fuck around. You know what it's gonna get to? Virtual. Yeah, what yeah. I say? The virtual shit, the NFT on the wall. Like, hey, you wanna you wanna look at that shit? That's that shit right there. Look at the screen, nigga. You want it? I'll go in the back and get it. They're gonna have that shit right up there. A hologram of that bitch. Hologram. They, that's right. what it's gonna come to. That's a lot of these high end stores, and I'm gonna yeah. say it's not we, taking that loss yeah, that much longer can, now. Yeah, we, we after that, I'm gonna wrap this up right after that. But y'all niggas keep thinking y'all coming up in these high end stores and just snatch shit. It's gonna get to a point where it's gonna have a hologram, and you ain't going You can't be mad at that. Yeah, that's because it, they can't afford to keep taking these losses. One hundred percent. It's not even fact them affording. They're not gonna take that loss. Yeah. No. They're not gonna take that loss no more, man. <laughs> that's Regardless like- if they had the security in there. I know the store downtown be having like a, a cop on duty. Oh, they ain't playing. Sometimes. But other than that, they can save themselves a headache by just having a hologram going forward. Yeah. Or it can be literally somebody standing at the door, they lock you in as you get yeah. there shopping. They can just lock y'all niggas in there. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. That's what they do at some diamond stores. Yeah, they do mm-hmm. that shit. And they don't even have the main diamonds on the floor, and no. they still do that. Like, right. when you go in the Diamonds Direct, I know this. When you go in the Diamonds Direct, they have to actually let you in. Yeah. So you initially walk in, then they have another door. You got to look up at the yeah. security camera, uh-huh. and then you go ahead and go in. Mm-hmm. So you can't even get out if you wanted to. Because if you try to go in, all they got to do is boom, hit a button. You 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 in between two doors yeah, at that your point. Your ass is locked in there, You bro. done. So it's going to get to a point where these high-end stores are either going to do that, or they're going to revert to just having holograms. But yeah, man, y'all need to keep, keep up with that shit. Go ahead, keep up with it. You're not gonna get away with that shit for for no time being, bro. And be a lot of cap too. See, that's another thing. A lot of these niggas be cap on the internet with all this Louis this and all this other shit. Y'all be stealing. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas be stealing, bro. Yeah, man. But yeah, man. But like we say, man, on every episode, man, you feel some type of way. You feel on the way. 
Always remember. We're just some messages. We out.